The Season 1 patch is here for New World and I'm going to buy the Premium Pass and all of the levels and then show you what's inside. Now I'm doing this on my alt, on my main I'm actually just going to buy it and play through the content but you know I'm doing this for the video. So what I want to show you is that when you do jump into the game and you actually go in the Season Pass and you click buy Premium there are two different types of reward. You get the normal Premium Pass where you pay 20,000 Max of Fortune or you can pay 30 Max of Fortune and get an extra level 20 basically you get to level 20. Now I'm going to buy the level I believe that each level is 1,000 max of fortune so here you're basically getting a good value so that's what i'll do so i didn't have enough uh, max of fortune so now i'm going to try it again and i should indeed purchase it and you can see i get instantly to level 20 well not instantly it actually takes a little bit of a while so finally i hit the right level which is 21 i'm not going to open the rewards now i am instead going to purchase the levels and you can see you can literally just click the amount of levels it looks like you can only buy 10 at a time so I'm going to do this several times and I'm going to get my way up to 100. Weirdly, if you want to skip all the way, it's actually quite slow because it goes through this sort of like process of doing it and you can't buy more than 10 at a time. So um, it's actually not super fast to do this. I wouldn't recommend that anybody does this. It's not really worth. I'm just doing it for the video, right? When you actually get close to the end because you can't buy it in multiples of five, or like multiples of 10, you actually have to buy each individual one. So here I am, I'm level 99. I'm going to buy the last one because we're already here now. So let's just do it. I am now 100. Let's let it splash up on the screen. Is it going to give me anything special? Yay, look at all this stuff. Okay, cool. So let me explain what I'm going to do. I actually have nothing in my inventory right now. I do have 422,000 gold, but I'm going to open all of that stuff up and we'll see what we get. The only items I have here are some quest items. So I'm going to remember this amount of gold and then we'll see how much I get and we'll just talk about it, okay? Not going to lie, this is actually taking a lot longer than I anticipated. I figured I'm actually just going to open everything because the, you actually get given the boxes rather than the boxes open instantly, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm only halfway through. It's taking me quite a while. So once you've actually opened everything, your inventory will look like this. You then have to sort of click them again. They don't, like, for example, the gold and the flame cores, you don't get them until you open what's inside these little ones, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do the resources first. So currently I've opened up pretty much everything that was resources. I've actually opened up a couple of things that give me items as well. What's interesting to note is that my actual expertise is only five, uh, 512 and you can see it is dropping at uh, basically 590 obviously i could turn that legendary i can't quite turn it legendary because i'm not the right expertise but if we look at the resources you get some gems i don't think necessarily like a lot of gems you'd also get some molts and stuff like that you get quite a chunk of dyes you get some potions which are basically generally all the infused and corrupted coatings and stuff like that nothing really amazing there you do get some raw food some furniture decorative items you also get 40 flame cores which i think is going to be pretty damn good right you get or currently i have twelve and a half thousand is what i got before i opened up one of the mutate uh, crates in terms of shards and i had 60 gypsum orbs and then i'm going to open the rest let's just open them like it's going to look like this the gear is going to look like this i'm not necessarily going to go through each piece this one is actually gear score 500 so a bit of me worries that maybe it is based on my expertise i'm not 100 sure but that one is 590 so maybe the non-named items are based on your expertise whereas the name items aren't i'm just going to keep going right because this could get everything obviously i've got some legendary stuff here which you can see would downscale but currently though that would be a decent ish musket right musket of the ranger leather heart of the sentry this one actually has lost ward on it right not a terrible thing for a, a spear player but yeah i'll just go through and open all of these okay i am all done you can see once you open them there's some that i missed out so you actually get some like materials so here i've got nine asmodium as well i've got some uh, runic leather and stuff like that a lot of it is more of the same though but then let's actually have a look at the gear, right? It's worth noting at this point that my gear is pretty terrible, right? I maybe bought some from the trading post for dead cheap. It is my ult, it's not my main or anything like that. My expertise is pretty terrible. But what has what have I got from this, right? If we look at gear score, we can see that we've got some legendary weapons and we've got some legendary armor, as well as some named weapons, which when I can and I do have the expertise, I'll be able to upgrade as well. You don't get that with the armor for some reason. There are sort of no named non-legendary armors. I'm not sure if this is going off my expertise or are these just from like a low level dungeon i'm not 100 sure oh i also got some honing stones and some gemstone dust as well oh and some attribute food as well as some mutator stuff so i got 2800 uh mutator materia 
as well as some specific dungeon mutator and stuff as well not sure if you could necessarily craft anything with that right now but you know maybe one day you can so let's have a look at the legendary weapons we've already saw this one i think uh, this is spear of the ranger i don't know if we saw this one but this one has human bait on it that'd be actually quite useful for the new dungeon right deck spear here i mean i'm not going to call these anything like amazing i actually don't know if these are amazing or not for, uh, for weapons i don't play but human bane the water instrument repulse and clear out yeah like if you are trying to do the new dungeon then you, this is actually going to give you a little bit of stuff for it don't know if that's actually a random chance this one for example has ancient bane the this ice gauntlet chain arcane deadly frost play crits yeah not terrible like these aren't necessarily terrible but they're also not necessarily the best thing must get have no idea because the meta has completely changed then obviously i've got some name stuff which you can probably go ahead and like check a new world data, uh, database to see if these are actually anything worth it some of these i don't necessarily recognize some of them i do obviously because i'm not expertise 600 i can't make them uh, legendary which is sort of funny right moving on to the armor what do we have here we have plate helm of the ranger which has got beast ward on it uh well, i don't think that's necessarily going to be too hot light armor with strength and loss ward not terrible for mutations maybe here's a resilient intelligence piece we have some more medium stuff here we figure elemental aversion and resilience that's actually sort of quite good right yeah that's pretty nice i'm not going to call it best in slot because i don't necessarily think figures all that hot and maybe medium decks might not be the play these days but that's a perfect example where I'm not even gear score 600. I'm not expertise 600. I just got level. I just got a, a very decent legendary item. Moving on, I got an amulet here, which is focus. I don't know anything about healing, so I'm not going to dwell too much on it. A intelligence ring looks decent. Nothing to complain about. Another intelligence uh, earring. A dex earring. A legendary amulet that actually was not terrible i mean it's not amazing but not terrible cloth hat of the soldier here unfortunately without resilient it doesn't really do anything right now but you know not terrible in in if you're just starting out i guess right the pants here yeah they've got human ward on it but 45 and periphery and stuff i mean yeah they just are what they are these pants not terrible right it's got the great sword the skyward notification resilient and refreshing ward yeah, not bad considering if you were just starting out, right? Probably not a very good earring here, but maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. And then the last piece is this helm with Vigor and Feebling Skewer and Lost Ward. Not amazing, but it's medium con stuff for Lost Ward. Barnacles could be useful though, right? And then obviously I got quite a lot of like just two perkers. Two perkers, if we're honest, are not really valuable, especially if you can't upgrade them to Legendary quite simply i mean something like this isn't terrible right where it's like you've got ward on it but generally you can just buy this stuff for cheap right i mean i think i bought this ages ago probably for like 200 gold or something like that right you can buy two perkers for relatively cheap so not being able to upgrade these into legendary sort of makes them effectively completely pointless there's a couple one words i said if they've got ward on it and you don't have that ward set yeah fine the weapons though as long as you have a weapon like that you're going to be able to use so like uh, the legendary ones don't really matter themselves in a sense because you're going to get these epic ones which you can also upgrade so there's quite a lot of legendary potential here right most of it i think just comes from the dungeons i don't think these are necessarily from the weapon crates but definitely worth knowing so a lot of you will actually have this right it's one of those things right the weapons i've probably got better weapons here right so this has probably improved me in the sense that i could take these weapons i can probably find an axe weirdly i didn't actually get a legendary possible axe did i know i did though i got i got scarlet slave if i really want that obviously i can't upgrade it right now but i got okay let's say i let's just call that legendary because most of you will be actually expertise 600 let's say i got two legendary items that i can actually use this amulet's not amazing but it's pretty decent better than the one that i had so i got a few different upgrades i didn't really get very much now it could be that on a different day some of this might be best for you if I was a dex player here, but I'm actually rocking like great sword. If I was a dex player, then this might actually have been really good. So just keep in mind, it's going to be a complete like potluck. Like everything in New World, it's pretty much going to be RNG. What's not RNG are the materials and the gold. I didn't actually mention this, but I went up there about 20,000 gold. I went from 422,000 to 442,000. And if I sold all of these mats, who knows what I would get? I believe like for example some of these quintessences they could be going for a bit i'm not gonna do this but technically i could sell my flame core somebody's literally already trying to buy these 400 a pop i've no idea what the price is going to be on these uh, by the way so don't ask me but i could sell them and get another 3000 4000 gold not much but i could sell the garlic these honing stones for example yeah look, let's actually sell these right i just made another 4000 gold from this the quintessences not exactly like loads of them but i can sell them 
I would normally list them, but just for the video, I'm here just going to like blast everything out. So let me sell stuff and then we'll come back. So I haven't sold everything right, but I've ended up with uh, a bit of extra gold, really. I'm getting close to, it's about 35,000 gold is what I've made. And if I sold every little bit, like all these quints and stuff like that, I bet I could probably make more. I just can't bother doing that for this video, especially with these flame cores. I think they're going to be very hot right now. So I don't think necessarily people are going to like buy the premium pass and level it up to 100 on all accounts or anything like that. That's obviously not cost effective for like 40,000 gold or what have you but you know you do make a bit of gold from it like probably around 40,000 gold and you get the option of getting it's a chance obviously but you might get something that is a bit of an upgrade I keep coming back to this one because it's probably the best out of my bunch but you've got to keep in mind that a lot of people are going to be rolling these over time some people are going to get absolute best in slot stuff right just to confirm that I did get my extra gear set when I did that and you can buy those in the store as well oh I actually missed a box and I got this in it this ring this ring is actually not terrible for me for my old account yeah that's usable so I personally got four usable pieces for the build that I actually normally would play and I got about 40,000 gold definitely not worth in terms of paying for the whole thing but I do reckon like buying the premium pass like how much would I have got this for free versus the premium pass is a different question this video was just me buying everything and seeing what we got in and I think we pretty much covered that topic right now just to say it costs 109,000 marks of fortune to do this so if you were to buy the more expensive one you can do it in UK pounds for about 83 quid that's about 80 dollars maybe 100 dollars something like that right I'm not saying that's worth this is me from the future because I forgot to show you that you also do get some skins, right? So there are skins that you can get and, you know, I think you get two sets, really. I'm not really into skins. I didn't really look at this for skins, but uh, for skins, but I just wanted to show you that you actually are going to get skins as well. And not only do you get skins, you are also going to get boosters, right? So if you click boosters, you can see I look like I got about five of everything. For some reason, I ended up with six territory, but you get five of everything. I'm not really sure these are worth it. I think the one that would be worth it if you're actually leveling this is the season XP because it looks like you can still get that double XP like thing. So yeah, that's probably the most valuable. But the proficiency one, yeah, I mean, if you're not going to like do anything with them, you might as well use them when you're farming. Why not? It's a little bit ironic to me that if you were to answer the question, is this pay to win? I think the answer is yes, right? But with New World, it's ironic because it's going to have a lot of RNG. I literally just paid to have my character increase in power there's no real two ways around that guys right i swiped the credit card i went from one to a hundred i got some rewards those rewards make me stronger do they make me stronger than other people who've not done who are playing the game a lot no you're not stronger than other people but you are stronger than what you would have been if you didn't buy and like forty thousand gold maybe i could buy a good item with that i don't think you're necessarily going to buy best with that but on some servers maybe you can maybe you will i don't know personally i would have loved to have seen not have the items in the season pass but the items are so rng like with everything in new world that i don't necessarily think it's going to be a huge problem there's a very good chance that i was probably world's first right I, the server came online i bought it maybe i was world's first 100 don't really deserve it. I feel a little bit bad. I feel a little bit guilty by doing that. I feel like a strong unease. But I did it for you. I know you hate me for it. But that's okay. Thanks to my YouTube members and Patreons. I do really appreciate you guys. I will be streaming this on Twitch. Especially over the weekend. So if you want to come and support. Give me a follow over on Twitch. There will be a link in the description. If you have any questions about what I showed you. Maybe you wanted to see something in a little bit more detail. Do let me know. Otherwise I hope you have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.